What's up? My name is Pointless. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your PlayStation 3. It's very simple, but before we get into the video, I'd like to let everyone know that uh, frequently asked questions will be left in the comment section below. So look for my comment. It should be top comment um, and just look at all those questions there. I won't be answering them in the video because there's a lot of questions and there's a lot of details in the answers I'm giving. So just watch throughout the whole video. It's really important that you get every single bit of information. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new from now i'll talk a little bit slower so it's easier to understand i've seen comments saying that i talk too fast and honestly it's just a bad habit but anyway let's just jump straight into the video to get started with this tutorial, there are some pre-requirements, and that is a 3.55 official firmware PlayStation 3. Anything over 3.55 cannot be jailbroken. If you want to downgrade your PlayStation 3, click the link in the description below, which will lead you to a detailed tutorial by another YouTuber. Any video saying you can jailbreak 4.75 or above is a scam. You need a USB with over 5 gigabyte. you need some common sense, some time, and the ability to read the description. And please note, if anything happens to your PlayStation 3, it's not my fault. Please do this tutorial with caution and follow everything I say. If you mess something up, it can mess up your PlayStation. So let's just jump right into the next step, which requires a PC and the USB I talked about earlier. Now head over to your PC and go to the down link in the description below. Download the update file, it will be called something.pup. Format your USB to FAT32 and if you need any help, feel free to ask people in the comment section below or go to Google. Uh, it's very simple, I think you just need to click right click and then format and then choose what format settings you want to. But I'm not 100% sure so just head over to Google and search that, it shouldn't take more than a minute. Now make a new folder called PS3 in capitalized letters and make another one called update doing the same. Rename the file you downloaded to ps 3 up the PUP. Drag the file you rename and drop it into the update folder. Now unplug your USB and move over to your PlayStation 3 and get ready for the final step. Please note you need WinRAR or 7-Zip in order to extract the file in the description below. So a down link can be found on Google to either one of them but I didn't want to include it in my description because by now most people actually has WinRAR or 7-Zip because a lot of files come in that. So anyway let's head over to the PlayStation 3 and get ready for the final step. Now that you're on your PlayStation 3, turn it off if you haven't already and enter recovery mode. If you don't know how to enter recovery mode, just hold the power button until one beep is followed by two quick beeps. After that, there should be a notification on your screen saying that you have to plug in your controller with the USB cable. Now choose the update option on the menu and follow the instructions on your screen. And also make sure that the USB stick is on the side closest to the disc, aka the right side, uh, the right USB slot. Now wait for the PS3 to do its thing it should update a couple of times and then it should turn off and turn back on and once it has done that you have successfully put your playstation 3 into a custom firmware or 3.55 rebug jailbreak if you want to update your jailbreak you can do so there's a lot of tutorials showing you how to go from 3.55 rebug up to another rebug so firmware now please note that anything you do from here can destroy your console because when you are in jailbreak the console is really it has a high chance of bricking if you don't know what bricking is it kind of destroys your console nothing more than that um and if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section below i will take some frequently asked questions on the screen right now or answer some frequently asked questions right now and um if you say this far thank you now if you have any questions just wait a little bit see if i answer them on the screen right now I decided to answer one frequently asked question at the end of this video, and that is, can I jailbreak my PlayStation 3? The answer is very simple. You must be on version 3.55, and you must have two PlayStation 3 consoles. It's not necessary, but it's really recommended, because when you do mod games online, there's a high chance that you will get banned. And getting a new console ID, which is kind of what describes your console and lets you go online, it's not always that cheap, depending on the seller. So having two PlayStation 3s is very good, because you can bypass that ban by having another PlayStation 3 ready to go and be able to play with your friends. But now the next generation of consoles is out, I, I'm assuming you already have one of those. And if you don't, I mean, it's fine. Um, just get to PlayStation 3 consoles. They're really expensive now these days. Um, and that is pretty much what I wanted to answer because that's a question I get all the time. And if you want to downgrade your PlayStation 3, go ahead and click the link in the description below. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe as it will start to upload way more like GTA 5 mods and showcases and stuff like that. And also drop a like down the video if you did enjoy. I've been Pointless and I'm out.